Energy generation in the modern era has always had a problem in keeping pace with usage demands as the population increases. As one fuel source reaches capacity, historically we are forced to find more challenging methods for power generation. These resources are finite and limited, not to mention costly on the environment and destructive in depleting the Earth's natural resources. So what makes energy such a pressing issue? Well, the world is changing. The standard of living enjoyed by the West is rapidly expanding to emerging markets, elevating the growth and infrastructure of once barren regions and bringing with it a rapid increase in global energy consumption of tens of trillions of kilowatt hours. In fact, the EIA predicts a global energy demand of 35 trillion kilowatt hours in 2035, a near 100% growth from 2007. Even oil executives realize that global demand for energy will increase 35% by 2030. Analysts predict most of this energy will come from natural gas, oil, and coal, but many are concerned that today's fossil fuel technology will not be able to cost-effectively nor sustainably scale to meet the rising demand. More than anything else, tomorrow's energy sources will be characterized by their ability to quickly grow with and sustain the world they support. So why renewables? Renewables represent our best option for transcending our energy limitations today and fulfilling the energy needs of the future. They're clean, abundant by definition, and in some cases, minimally invasive. That's what brought nanosolar to this market. So what makes solar so special? Specifically, solar power typifies many of the features one would expect in a perfect energy source. It requires no fuel apart from the sun itself. It lends itself to modular, low-cost installations that can be built to any size necessary, from the very small to the very large. It works anywhere the sun reaches, which includes most of the population centers on our planet. In fact, sunlight is most abundant in some of the world's fastest growing regions, which is where the cost efficiency of solar versus fossil fuels is likely to converge the soonest. It enjoys widespread acceptance within public perception. Few of the world's residents would be excited about an oil refinery, coal plant, or even wind turbine in their backyard, and most would be fearful of a nuclear plant. A full-scale array of solar panels, with its silent presence, passive operation, and visual simplicity, suffers very few of these drawbacks. It fits the world we already have. In other words, it doesn't demand radical changes to our lifestyles, integrates easily with existing infrastructure, and can fit well with an urban, suburban, and rural areas alike. So how is nanosolar different? Well, there's no shortage of companies offering competing variations on solar cell and panel technology, but its traditionally high subsidized cost has made it difficult for mainstream homeowners, businesses, and utilities to embrace. Nanosolar approached this space, however, with a view to significantly impact the global energy market, and that is a goal that would not be possible without fresh, new thinking. First, and most important, Traditional solar panels are based on semiconductors, and their fabrication, a process involving bunny suits, clean rooms, and complex high vacuum machinery, is expensive, time consuming, and delicate. This is where we focused our attention first. Our cells, based not on silicon, but SIGs, a mixture of copper, indium, gallium, and selenium, aren't fabricated. Instead, they're printed using machines similar to a standard printing press. If you're imagining newspapers flying off the presses at breakneck speeds, our process is not too different. We pride our technology on its low cost and robust potential for printing large quantities of ready-to-use solar cells. The difference with our industrial printing press lies in the nanoparticle ink. This is where our influence on the technology is most visible and what allows such a conventional and low-cost process to produce innovative solar cell products, the intersection of proprietary ingredients and simple execution. We start with a two kilometer long roll of aluminum. Next, the ink is printed onto the rolls of aluminum, similar to commercial printing on paper. Once the ink has dried, SIGs are formed. It's once again transferred to a newly formed roll. Holes are then punched in to aid conductivity between the layers. Semiconductor fingerprints are then printed on in a process similar to silk screening. Then the sheets are cut into individual cells. The cells are then stacked to be turned into panels. The nanosolar utility panel. At the heart of any nanosolar design is the utility panel. It's the industry's first panel designed specifically for utility scale deployment, about one megawatt or greater. 
and the first to operate at 1500 system volts, which allows for higher voltage power plants, thereby reducing cabling and home run costs. Its proven, thin-panel, high-strength glass-on-glass design delivers 200 to 240 watts, about 10 to 12 percent efficiency, and is engineered for a lifespan of more than 25 years. We've applied our printing technique primarily to utility-scale panels within the solar market. This typically means 1 megawatt solar arrays or greater, although traditional utility-scale projects are 20 megawatts or larger. While residential and commercial-scale projects are significant market segments as well, Nanosolar estimates the utility-scale market will make up close to 50% of installed PV market share by 2015. In the face of waning government subsidies and greater competition from natural gas, we estimate the PV industry will increasingly turn to utility-scale applications where solar panel, balance of system, and operations and maintenance costs can be spread across multi-megawatt installations. Perhaps most remarkable about the panels we build is their optimization for reducing power plant balance of system cost. The larger size, lower panel voltage, higher current, two-edge box design at the panel corners, and higher system voltage all enable less cabling, racking, and installation labor. Considering that balance of system can make up to 55% or more of the total cost of the system, this is a significant advantage. Nanosolar utility panels can enable up to a 20% savings in labor and 40% savings in mounting steel due to its larger size. All of this translates into faster, cheaper deployment, especially when utilizing heavy equipment and machinery to optimize installation time and cost. Nanosolar has built our first panel assembly factory in Luchenwalde, Germany, 45 miles south of Berlin, in order to target the European utility-scale solar PV market with close proximity to the Brandenburg, Bavaria, and Baden-Württemberg regions in Germany, as well as to France, Italy, and Spain, Nanosolar can deliver solar panels to project sites within one to three days. These market locations currently make up a majority share of the global utility-scale PV market and will continue to attract a large share of utility-scale projects over the next 10 years. But Luchenwalde is just the first example of our production agility. We will ship our solar cells in bulk to low-cost, easily and quickly built panel factories that can be located wherever demand emerges, namely, where the sun is. In other words, we've optimized our logistics specifically around the needs of the end customer. In the US, for example, the utility scale market is forecasted to grow to 3 gigawatts or greater by 2015. U.S. utilities show increasing interest in solar PV power due to a number of factors like its increasingly competitive wholesale prices. Furthermore, the capability to design, construct, and commission a distributed generation nanosolar PV power plant in 6 to 12 months with minimal, if any, impact on existing transmission infrastructure, land, and local resources is a radical departure from traditional forms of energy generation. Most important, Nanosolar's use as a peak power resource during prime sunlight hours is considerable, generating electricity at times often coincident with peak electricity consumption during the summer and in the mid to late afternoon, but without requiring the fuel charges and operational and maintenance costs of a gas peaker plant. Furthermore, nanosolar power plants do not need to operate at sizes of 50 megawatts and beyond to be cost competitive with fossil fuels. We can do so at 1 to 20 megawatts, due to our low-cost solar panel and balance of systems design. So while many of solar's benefits are commonly understood, like sustainability, cleanliness, and safety, one of Nanosolar's greatest assets is our capability to continue to produce reliable, stable power even during the most energy-intensive times of the year. In order for solar to be cost-competitive with fossil fuels on a non-subsidized, leveled cost-of-energy basis, a solar panel must cost less than 80 cents a watt, and the balance of systems costs must be less than 95 cents a watt. This equates to a $1.75 a watt system cost. We believe with an installed system cost of $1.75 a watt, we can achieve a price of 10 cents a kilowatt hour in Southern California, 18 cents a kilowatt hour in Germany, 11 cents a kilowatt hour in Italy, and 10 cents a kilowatt hour in India. We believe nanosolar can achieve this by 2014. Nanosolar entered commercial production in the spring of 2010, with a focus on delivering high-quality, 25-year reliable solar panels to our utility customers and utility-scale solar development partners. 
We're poised to become the cost leader in the renewable electricity market at hundreds of megawatts of annual production, not gigawatts. Our confidence in that leadership comes from the core on which we built our company in the first place. Most important is a commitment to manufacturing excellence driven by years of management experience shared by an executive team of leaders from the manufacturing and tech worlds. From that foundation of manufacturing excellence comes an obsession with solving the needs of our customers. The more successful our customers are in building and operating nanosolar power plants, the cheaper and more reliable we can make our innovative solar technology. L lastly, we're motivated by knowing that we're not just the producers of solar technology, but energy consumers like everyone else. We realize that the future of energy production must and will arrive well within our lifetimes, and is therefore a future we can influence now. It's commonly believed that doing good and doing well are mutually exclusive goals, but we believe this is a false dichotomy worth dispelling. We've applied clean, renewable energy to a growing business model with global applications, which is why we're confident in saying that we can do both. Our leadership team comes from years of experience as executives and management within many Fortune 500 top technology companies. This is Nanosolar Story, and why we envision a future in which people are confident in the technology that powers their world, proud of its efficiency and cleanliness, and excited about its potential. We think you'll be surprised by how quickly we can reach this future, and hope you'll join us in achieving it.